Well, happy Sunday, everyone. We've had a mix of sun and clouds, but mostly sunshine, a little haze in the distance as well. And those temperatures, oh yeah, they have been climbing this afternoon. We've seen our first 90s across parts of the area. Now, right now, most folks have dropped back into the upper 80s, still around 91 in Elberton, uh, but these temperatures still on the hot side, and they're going to continue to warm up in the next couple of days. So expect even warmer weather moving our way, and eventually we'll start to see more humidity building in as well. But this evening, actually not too bad. We'll have lots of sun shine out there. It's going to be very warm, but it's a dry heat, right? There's not a lot of humidity out there, so temperatures will be actually probably feeling a degree or two cooler than what the actual numbers show, and we'll be slowly falling into the 70s this evening, but it's going to stay fairly warm all the way through the overnight hours, and here's why. We've been talking about this, this big heat dome, big area of high pressure. We call it the ring of fire. Everything goes up and around that ring of fire, and that includes rain and a lot of the cloud cover as well, so we just bake underneath that, and that high pressure is going to be sitting near the area as we go throughout the next several days. So as we move into midweek, we're going to be talking about that 90 degree heat continuing to build out there, a very summer like feel across the region. Take a look at the temperature trends. If you don't believe me, you can see this for yourself. We're talking lower 90s again for us as we get into our Monday. We're talking low to mid 90s for your Tuesday and Wednesday. And if you thought that was a little warmer than what we typically see this time of the year, well, you'd be correct. Look at that. The average high only in the lower 80s this time of the year. So we're way above average. Now here comes the problem with that high pressure sitting on top of us. It creates sinking air that calms the winds. There's nothing stirring the atmosphere up, so you get that very stagnant air in place. So we've had a few isolated problems with the air quality here over the past couple of hours this afternoon. But as we go into your Monday, I do want to give you a heads up. We're going to be seeing some poor air quality out there. We've got an air quality alert in effect, and that's going to be for those unhealthy groups there, the sensitive groups, you know, folks that have uh, struggles with that activity there. You'll want to make sure you limit your time outside. In fact, that air quality warning is in effect for the entire upstate and through most of central South Carolina as well. So this is a problem that we'll likely have for the next couple of days. We need some rain to really mix up the air and wash out some of this bad air quality. High pressure will break down finally by the end of the week. And here comes a front that's going to kind of ooze into the area. And I think by the time we get towards this weekend, we'll start to see some increasing chances of scattered showers, maybe some clouds. And that may mean a little cooler temperatures. But an impact day for your Monday with that air quality alert in effect, then it's just downright hot by the middle of the week with highs in the low to mid 90s. And there you see the slow cooling trend with, again, maybe some increasing rain chances. Fingers crossed for the weekend, help get rid of some of this bad air quality and also to help reduce those temperatures just a little bit.